So in this video, we're going to solve a question. Now here's a question in front of us. A candidate obtains falling marks in an examination. So here are the subject and these are the marks and these are the respective weight. If you look at this column weight, this is pretty much the same as frequency. Now if you look at this column marks, these values over here are pretty straightforward values. For example, in English, the particular person gets 75. It's a pretty straightforward value. And we have known this that if the values are pretty straightforward, then following frequency table is an example of discrete frequency distribution. In this question, we have been asked to find out the weighted mean, which is again a very fancy word. It simply means we have to find out the mean. So don't get bothered by the word weighted. Now let me just write down the formula of mean x bar is equal to summation of fi times xi divided by summation of fi. Now xi over here is your marks column and fi stands for frequency but in this question frequency has been replaced by weight therefore we are going to replace fi by wi. Let me just replace fi by wi. Now we have to find out the product of wi times xi. So let's create a new column and name it as wi times xi where we simply have to multiply the value of marks with the value of weight. So 75 into 2 is 150, then 60, then 59 into 3 is 177, then 165 and then 63. Now this over here is the sigma symbol, which is also known as summation. The meaning of summation is addition. So we have to add the entire value of WXI column, which is going to be 615. Now in the denominator, we have the summation of WI, which means we have to add the entire value of the column weight. That is going to be 10. Now simply replace the two values, that is 615 divided by 10 is going to give us 61.5. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that the weighted mean of the falling frequency distribution is 61.5. Let's look at another problem. Find the missing frequency P for the falling distribution whose mean is 7.68. So in this question, the mean is already given and we need to find out the missing frequency P, which is here. So let me just recreate the table and put it in vertical form. Now let's write down the formula of the mean. x bar is equal to summation of fi times xi divided by summation of fi. So let's create a column fi times xi where we simply multiply the values. 6 into 3 is 18, 5 into 8 is 40, 7 into 15 is 105 and 9 into p is 9p and we have 88 and 52. Let me just change the color of 9p. Yeah, this looks good. Now we have to find out the summation of FIXI, which is addition. So we simply add the entire FIXI column and that gives us 303 plus 9p. Now we also need the summation of FI denominator. Therefore, we are going to add the entire FI column and that's going to be 41 plus p. Now since we know x bar is the term given to mean and in this question mean is already given as 7.68 so we simply replace the value. So it's going to be 7.68 is equal to 303 plus 9p divided by 41 plus p. Then we cross multiply this denominator with, with the left hand side. So it's going to be 7.68 times 41 plus p is equal to 303 plus 9p. Let me just free up some space. Yeah. So 7.68 multiplied by 41 is equal to 314.88 plus 7.68p. And the right hand side is going to be as it is 303 plus 9p. Now we have to get the like terms to one side. That is, we have to bring 9p to the left hand side and take 314.88 to the right hand side. So when plus 9p comes this side, it's going to be minus 9p plus 
7.68p is equal to 303 minus 314.88. Since there is a minus symbol, we are going to subtract. That is going to be 1.32p and there is going to be a minus symbol. Similarly, on the right hand side, again we have to subtract. That's going to be 11.88 and we will have the minus symbol. Now let's find out the missing term p. That is going to be minus 11.88 divided by minus 1.32. The minus minus gets cancelled and we can also cancel out the decimal point. So 1188 divided by 132 is going to be 9. Therefore the missing value right over here that is p is going to be 9. I hope you understood this question. I want you to go through it again and it's going to be plain and simple.